guys, SBJJ Videos here. And today we're going to show you how to make a Kawaii polymer clay clapboard. Here are the materials that you'll be making. White polymer clay. Black polymer clay. This is optional, you can use a dotting tool, but if you don't have one, you can use a toothpick. A roller, or we're, in this case, we're going to use a marker. We're gonna need some light pink um, paint for the cheeks, but you can also use polymer clay. A blade. And you're going to need some glaze, but you can also use a nail polish top coat. So let's begin. So take your white clay and condition it a little bit. Once you're done that, you want to just roll this into a thin snake. So I've just rolled this out into a thin snake, and now you want to just set that aside. So you want to now take your black clay and condition that a little bit. Once you're done that, you want to roll it into a ball. And you're just now going to roll, um, just roll this out with your rolling pin or marker. So I'm basically just rolling this. You don't want to make it too thin and you don't want to make it too flat. So this is a good thickness. Now you're going to cut a square. So what I did is I just um, trimmed it down a little bit, like that. set that aside. I want to take the extra black clay and I'm just going to roll this out. You don't have to make it very big and just like that. So I'm just going to take the blade again, and I'm just first going to cut out a straight edge, and another one. It doesn't have to be too thick, so just take your little square that you need, and just line it up, and cut the extra clay and get it to the same size. And that's it. And we forgot to mention that you are going to need an eye pin if you're going to make your polymer clay into a charm. So you can also use some TLS or bacon line just so that these two pieces can attach. And this is going to be, going to be slanted like that. And I'm just going to use the eye pin to attach the two t pieces together. Hey guys! So this is just a really quick interruption on why we haven't been doing videos for so long. Um, the reason is, like, school, we've been really busy. And uh, she had her grad, so yay for her. And today it's already summertime, so we can make more videos. So, so yeah, let's just let's go back, back to the tutorial. tutorial. Bye. So now what you want to do is you're just going to take the white clay that we rolled out earlier. And I'm just going to put that on top of the clapboard. Leaving a small space from the top part. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the extra. Then I'm going to do that also on the bottom, trying to leave about the same amount of space. Getting it nice and straight. Finish 
should now have something that looks like that. So now what you want to do is you want to take your white card and you're going to just do like little small slanting pieces going down and I'll show you. So you just want to do that. This is the bottom piece. So you want to do that all the way. So once you're done doing the bottom, we just made a little bit thicker because it looks a little bit better. So you're going to do it on the top, but don't go to this part yet. And you just want to do it the opposite way. And you just want to do that to all the animals. So once you're done that, what you want to do is you're just going to continue up here. Going the same direction the top one is. Now you have something that looks like this. So now we're almost done. All you have to do is now just add some eyes. So you can use paint for this. Just bake it and use some paint. But we're going to use some polymer clay. So we're just using a white polymer clay in place. Just like this. So for the smile, since it's going to be really small, what I like to do is just roll this out then. Just take a blade, cut a super small piece out. So super small like that. You make it curve a little bit. And then if you can't get it on, you can use your toothpick or the dotting tool to get it on. Just like that. So now you're going to put on some cheeks. You can use polymer clay or paint. We're going to be using paint. So I'm just going to use the dotting tool. And just add a little dot next to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and bake it and you're done. So this is what it looks like if it's baked and you just apply glaze to it and I hope you like it guys, bye!